Hi there, my name is Olga, your online music teacher. If you want to learn music from zero, help your child learn or you're a music teacher yourself, this channel is the right place for you. Basic to advanced topics covered, fresh content every once in a while. So if you're new, consider subscribing. You're watching the FAQ series playlist. And today's topic is whether you need piano at home and what type of piano. If you're planning to take piano lessons, you absolutely do need piano at home right away. Sometimes I'm asked if he can start piano lessons and then the student will get piano sometime soon. No. If you feel ready to start lessons, you must have a piano at home, not at grandma's house, at your own home. You must also have all the required materials and books by the first lesson. I have not always had this requirement in place and I thought I might do a favor to my new students by allowing delayed purchase of materials. The lessons turned out to be very messy and it never got better with time. I cannot stress it enough how important this is for the child to have a right beginning. The way it works in my studio, the first meeting is never paid for. This is for my new students and their parents to just have conversation with me, get more comfortable, ask any questions they might have, discuss any concerns and talk about their goals. This is also a good time to ask if the piano that you have at home is suitable for lessons. And if not, or you don't have any, I might recommend you a good option based on your needs. I often help my students find good deals. And depending on when you're watching this, I might have a good recommendation for you in the video description below for a good piano that I currently think is a good deal. Now, does it matter what type of piano? And by the remaining minutes under this video, you might think yes, and that's correct. There are a few main characteristics that I require. It must be an 88 key piano, not less. The keys should be heavy weighted, well, there should be a comfortable bench and some sort of foot or pedal extension if your child needs that. Now there is a huge debate among teachers on whether to require an acoustic piano or to allow a digital one. Back in the days when digital pianos were not as good as today, I used to require an acoustic piano. The worst challenge with those is that you must correctly move them because your husband, your brother, your uncle or grandpa or whoever that is who is not a professional piano mover can permanently damage it. It is very common. You have to also periodically tune an acoustic piano once or twice a year and it might cost you from $75 to $150 or even more depending on where you live in the United States. Most musicians believe that an acoustic piano is no doubt better than the digital one, and I agree, but here is the trap. If you have no experience in pianos at all, and you end up buying a second-hand piano, or even worse, you get one for free from Craigslist, well, you might be one of those lucky few to get a good deal and an okay piano. But most likely you will get some crappy piano that will not sound good even right after you just tune it. The best option is to go to the store and get a new piano, if you can do that. In this case, don't buy piano before you talk to your teacher. Take your teacher to the store and have her or him recommend you the best option based on good pianos and good price. An acoustic piano is no doubt the best if you got the right one. This is like car races. They don't drive automatic transmissions, they drive the manual ones because they need the best control over the vehicle. They need to feel the car. Same with acoustic pianos. You feel the vibration under your fingers caused by the string's oscillation. Therefore, you can control much wider range of characteristics as um, tone color, timbre, and much more. It is important that the student learns to feel the piano from lesson one. If you really think you can get an acoustic piano for any reasons, even for space reasons like me, 
the other option is to get a digital one. Hear me out, please. This is a very sensitive topic, not a flimsy piano from pasta. It doesn't matter if it's a $300 piano or a $3,000 piano. You must understand what exactly you're paying for. I can't express enough how saddened I am by some parents arguing with me that their piano, their digital piano is not a toy, it's a grand or two grand, whatever. I'm sorry, but I don't care. You should have asked me, but now you overpaid for a barely responsive keyboard. Let me explain that further. When the student has technically and professionally grown enough to have some more rapid finger movement, the keys on such a keyboard don't come to the initial position fast enough. This is common especially with trills, when your fingers go like that. So you end up playing keys that do not react fast enough to make another sound. Do you get it? You play 10 sounds? but you only hear seven, and your overall play sounds sloppy and weird. Nevertheless, you've practiced a lot. If you think, well, you have at least five years before you play like that, then that's because I'm probably not your teacher. About 90% of all my students, no matter the age, will need access to a quality piano by the second year, because the progress in skill set will be noticeable immediately. So why do some $3,000 piano are that bad? Well, in that case, you pay for the electronic part, sound effects, and probably for the fancy grand piano design. Do you or your child really need that? I can tell you in my studio, we will never use those sound effects. If you really want sound effects for a professional band playing, you're probably not a six-year-old and you know what you're doing. Then just go ahead and get a Nord keyboard. They might not come necessarily with heavy-weighted keys, but they also serve a different purpose. Depending on when you're watching this, I might have a good recommendation for a piano down in the video description below for you. I usually keep track of good deals in case if I'm asked for recommendation. If you appreciate my honesty and you like this video, please give it a like, share this video with your friends who can benefit from that as well, subscribe and hit the bell sign for notifications, otherwise I cannot guarantee you if the YouTube will tell you when the next video is up. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, right here.